Well, guys, we're going to get started here in just a minute here. So we're kickstarting here the the first West Division event of season two. Um, new promotion replacing the AWF. It's a promotion I'll be running myself, and we are opening things up with that. LGC's promotion will be after mine, and then Eli will be in the main event. With his stuff. Opening match. Um Hi Eli, how you doing? Hi Star Fox, how you doing? Alright, opening match for IGW is gonna be Walter against Steve Williams. That's good, Eli. See how this goes here. That's good. D my dinner's dinner's being currently made at the moment over here. Yes, exactly. Fight! Starting with a little grapple action here with a chop. Mm, back grapple with a clubbing. Double axe handle. Intergalactic Wrestling. Uh, same initials. The initials for this is uh, Independent Global Wrestling. Oh, look at that overhead German. Already got interference. It looks like Chris Adams is going to be interfering here. He doesn't have a match tonight, but him and Malenko are sitting out this one. <laughs> I 
I think I heard of that a game actually, Eli. Ah, putting on a sharpshooter here. I bet, I bet it was garbage. Oh, going for a power bomb here with the cover. Almost had Williams with that. Williams has to be careful here. Oh, sleeper suplex. Oh yeah, it was definitely trash. Oh, the belly to belly slam. Yeah, probably rightfully slow. Probably would have been garbage. Oh, big Lariat. Big chop. Oh, overhead German sends Williams out of the ring. Two. Another sleeper suplex. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Ah, his submission maneuver that's all serve as his finisher. Please, I forgot what it was called. No fun yeah. at all. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Bomb. Almost had him with it. Um, Gorilla Press. Oh, Backbreaker. Oh, for his power bomb. Let's see if it's enough. No, it's not. William's still alive here. Another press. Oh, yeah, I'm at a 97 on PS1. Yeah, definitely. That would have been bad. A little big whip here. Chop. Ah, one more time with that power bomb. And there it is. Walter gets the win. Got a 96, good lord. Okay, next match is for the tag titles here. Yeah. Yeah, I I was shocked to get a 96 with that one. Tag title match here. The APA here are going to be fighting the Hollies for the tag title belts. Both for both IGW belts are going to be crowned tonight. Let's see how it goes with this here. Oh, what the heck? Ah, hold on a sec, I forgot to, I have to change something here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know they were going to do 96 disc stuff for EA, but they had to cancel a good chunk of all that stuff, mainly because they just weren't ready yet. And plus, the 989 series, they got such a huge jump start on that system with the quality and everything that they they realized that there was no way in hell they were going to get close to being as good as them. That's why they ended up deciding just to wait to just let them have the win. I mean, in hindsight, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway just because we because they would get crushed them in the PS2 gen. All right, let's see how this goes here for the tag titles. Well, I think the the song I used for that kind of made the game kind of made the game freak out a little bit. I think the music used for that kind of made the game freak out a little bit. I may have to I may have to <laughs> it, it happens from time to time. I'll just have to I think, I, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to restart the stream, which sucks, but there's not really a way to, like, there's not really a way to, like, skip through this part. It just kind of stuck. So, I'm going to reboot this. Just give me a couple minutes and we'll resume right back. Gonna get start. Gonna get back to it. Just gonna reshare here. Yep, back, Eli. Yeah, the yeah they canceled it on. I think they canceled it on GameCube because they were wrapping that system up and they wanted to focus on the Wii. Hi, B Slayer. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny. I um, I guess the music I used for the APA w is not wasn't perfectly ported. Kind of made the game glitch slightly. Kind of made it freeze a bit on a black screen. So I'm gonna have to replace that. The music. Um, you only missed one match so far, Beast Slayer. It's in the prior thing. It was Steve Williams against uh. Walter Yeah, exactly. That's that's the big thing there Alright. 
I'll skip through it this time here for APA. Yeah, I bet it is. No, the first match was in the last stream. Uh, it was Steve Williams against Walter. That was in the last stream. We had to restart. This is the second one right here. Yeah. Give up. No, no worries. It, it wasn't long. It was only like 13-ish minutes. Like, the, literally, it, it wasn't even an inner thing, it's just the, uh, the, no worries, it was just the track I used for the APA intro, I don't think it poured over quite right, because after the entrance played, the game kind of froze on a black screen with stuff, so, well, I, I'll have to change that. Big double team suplex here. Some arm work here. Yeah, to be honest, <laughs> that'd be funny to see a game that mature on the Wii. That'd be something. Some punch trading between Farouk and, uh, I believe that's Hardcore. Give up. Yeah, that would be funny. Yeah, Crash is coming in now. Or is that, is that Crash? I think it's Crash, because he looks smaller. Yeah, it's Crash. Double Team Suplex lands him out of the ring. Ah, uh, Double Team Suplex on the concrete floor. Five, six, oh, it's double team power seven, bomb on the concrete floor. Nine, oh, they nine, are toughest of tough. 20, oh, power bomb. 13, 14, oh, close line from hell. Hi, ladies wrestling league. Yeah, when. Yeah, exactly. Sega was Sega was the cool older. They focused on like the older audience when Sega was at their peak. Nintendo didn't quite go that route. They were at times they were kind of forced to because when they got ported games over there, they had to do it. Thankfully, it seems like nowadays they've kind of... Oh, double power bomb. Thankfully, now nowadays, it looks like they... Uh, oh, Falcon Arrow. I got two. Thankfully, nowadays, the town kind of lightened up a little bit on that. That kind of thing... That focus on keeping, like, the older style game... The older, mature style games away from their system. Yeah, they don't. They could make more. I'm kind of surprised they haven't, but they have a huge library of games to focus Two, on. Three. Oh, APA just making a mess of the Hollies right now. DDT. Tag made in a corner. Oh, close that before he can finish that power bomb. Oh, dodge the clothesline. Ah, 
Oh, Flapjack. Goes for a cover. Fru kicks it out. DDT. Double power bomb. Big kitchen sink. Goes top. Drops the elbow. But yeah, I'll be merging the two segments when I get the chance. So we'll have the complete stream of it soon. Bulldog. Yeah, he whiffed it. He got yeah, he got dodged. Only got one on Farouk. Tag made in a corner. Yeah. Double team power bomb. Oh, tornado DDT. Gord Buster. In from the stand. Oh, cross body into a cover. Almost had him. Ah, oh, Falcon Arrow once again. Oh, it's had a fallaway slam. Sidewalk slam. Pile driver. Bradshaw gets tagged in. They do a double team power bomb. Goes for a cover. Crash intervenes. Yeah, sometimes that happens if a move happens too close to the outside of the ring, it'll like jump back in. It happens every once in a blue moon. Oh, nice! It's WWE 2K20. <laughs> oh god, that'd be something. Oh, both of them are down. Oh, crash course. Hardcore gets tagged in. Does the move, performs the maneuver again. <laughs> Peru gets tagged in. Double, t double power bomb. Yeah, this still work out the kinks on that one. No, oh, Larry. Uh Oh, full Nelson slam. Oh, the Dominator. Goes for a cover. One, two. Oh, just got there in time. Oh, Alabama slam. Hardcore wins with a drop kick. Tags in, crash. Bradshaw gets tagged in. Double team power bomb. Fall away slam. Crash course. Oh, com complete shot. Yep. Oh, crash landing. One. Farouk stops the pin, though. Dominator. Double arm DDT. 
Another tornado DDT. Military press. Oh, back elbow in the corner. Hip toss by Farouk. Swinging neck breaker. Oh, leg drop from the top rope. Flying shoulder tackle. Crash gets tagged in. Double power bomb. Oh, counter! Somebody gets kicked out. Freak you out. Yeah. I saw that happen from time to time. Oh, it only got two. This is insane. I'm surprised it's gone on this long. These guys are tough. Oh, big boot. The punch trading between the two. Oh, German. Oh, tries to get up in a schoolboy. Oh, APA win. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've been lucky. The first match with Walter and Steve Williams, I got a 96. So I'm I'm pretty like, I'm kind of surprised that it's going so well. But we shall see. Damn, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, final match for my promotion here. Um, it's going to be for the IGW Heavyweight Championship. Um, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be between Mike Awesome and Tanaka. All right, let's see how this goes here. I was wondering what was off. I was do. I've been doing all my. Uh, <laughs> I've been in the wrong arena. That's why everything looked a little off. That's okay. Yeah, I was supposed to use a different arena. The screen breakage kind of threw things off a little bit.
pile driver kick things off for awesome. Doesn't even get a count for that though. Come on. For an atomic drop, shoulder tackle. Counter. Another pile driver. Yeah, it'll be very strike heavy kicking things yeah. off here. Tanaka, of course, looking for an opening against Awesome. Counter's a power bomb. Tanaka wins that trade off. Five minutes gone. Body slam. Oh. Oh, oh dodges a cross body attempt. Oh, Lariat. Oh, German sends Tanaka out of the ring. Two. Three. Oh, power bomb goes for a cover. One, Almost had him with it. Oh, he's stealing his awesome bomb. Break. But it's a rope break, though. Tanaka gets. Oh! Oh, suicide dive off the top rope. Death Valley driver on the concrete floor. Oh, he's setting up! Spear! Spear from the corner! Uh, yeah... Yeah, that would... If we were doing some, that, I would get to. For this for this round, we've been doing uh, match sending and submission. Oh, sit-out bomb. Almost had him with that. So, if I'm gonna get two, two bonus points, one of these guys is gonna have to tap. I think, was I think, I believe, um, still move is in another couple rounds. Oh, awesome. Does another one. Just power bombs each. Just keep trading power bombs from each 13, other. Suplex. Pile driver. Back suplex.
Alabama slam. Man's a drop kick. Oh, Steve Williams is coming down to the ring. He just got done against Walter earlier. Oh, no! He's helping awesome! Ooh, that's a good question. To be honest, a sit out bomb. Oh, he kicks out still. Tanaka with life. To be honest, if I'm going to have to pick uh, the best heart ECW champion, I think I'm going to have to say Raven. And I only say Raven because I feel like I feel like out of everyone that's been champion, I feel like he did the most with the belt. Because Douglas was hurt all the time when he had the belt. Mike Awesome ditched it. I mean, Taz was pretty solid with the belt. The only problem is by the time he got it, almost everyone left. Finish. RVD was the greatest television champion, wow. but he didn't really get a lot of time with the main belt, unfortunately, from what I remember. Wow. Oh, Tanaka is suplexed out of the ring. Two. Both men catch their breath. <laughs> they get suplexed out again. Uh, I wish DPS was watching this. He would love this match. Oh, rolling elbow. Rolling elbow. Oh, counter. Oh, complete dust. Big boo. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sit up bomb. This could do it. And it does. Mike Dawson wins the title. I got a 93. Yeah, that sounds about it. Good lord. Alright. Let's... <laughs> yeah, let me see what the overall for this was going to be here. So I got a, I got a 96 for this one. So, gonna be tough, but it can be done. It wasn't a perfect score, not a perfect score here. Yeah, the only really hiccup really was just the fact that the stream had to be started and stopped, and that's the only thing with that. But it is what it is with that. We're moving on to LJC's promotion. Yeah, it's it's very tough. You have to like. Well, I mean, I think a lot of it too is just finding the style you want to do because a lot of my guys what are very hard hitting, very like like hard like hard hitting kind of guys their styles kind of mesh well with each other i think that plays into this game as well oh wait i'll leave it here so yeah i needed to be on that i was at usa i forgot to change it but oh well it is what it is at least the first match had the actual arena Where is the GSW right there? Opening match here is Let's see Jericho and Gold Dust will be team uh, Jericho 
since he lost that match, has, is now the, in the Judas gimmick. Look at these two are facing off against MJF and Big Show. Booker leaves. Jason Booker loser leaves CEW. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting to see there. All right, let's see how this match goes here. Oh wait, did I get the music? No, I did not. I think I corrected that in time. Let's see how this goes here. Yeah, they do. It, it, he does like like the promote. I think I think the most I think the funniest background music we ever went with was the Randy Savage Genesis music for that pay per view. Let's go here. All right. Big chop there. Number one. Well, oh, big Irish whip. Goldust gets tagged in. Um, LGC has been pairing MJF and Big Show for a bit, but they haven't really formed an official team as of at this moment. But he's been pairing them up quite a bit. What <laughs> more wrestlers full time? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, to be honest. It's kind of unfortunate that he got paired with that because I know he was a basketball player and from my memory serves correctly He was actually pretty decent at it But yeah, it he shouldn't have been wrestling. I mean Not to say he couldn't have been a good wrestler if maybe given the proper preparation But I think I think they kind of jumped a gun on him by a lot Just because his size was just such a marvel for that time I think after Andre being who he was, I think, I think, I think around that time, the early to mid 90s, everyone was looking for the next Andre, just this big polarizing guy that would just set the world on fire. And they were trying to do that with Gonzalez, but Gonzalez was then that guy. Oh, right into a press slam.
It's uh, size was a marvel for sure. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, counter that kick. Counter that grab back grab onto a bulldog. Goldust gets tagged in here. Yeah, exactly, they don't, because it wasn't a good match. <laughs> yeah, they don't. And, yeah, I think I think it didn't help Gonzalez at all having his first match be against Undertaker at WrestleMania for a guy that was green as he was. Oh, no light suplex with the bridge, but it's a rope break. Oh, this gets Larry up. Code breaker goes into a line tamer. Bulldog. Goldust gets tagged in. Nice high kick. Right. The giant of Booker loses. <laughs> Ooh man, that'd be fun to see. Yes, he did. He did wrestle as L. G. G L. G he did wrestle as that in WCW. I remember that. Number one. Well, yeah, because because the problem Number the problem one. he had was the fact that he you see the problem was the era as well. Like he came up during a really kind of crappy era in wrestling for the most part, especially with WWF. WCW was still putting some good stuff together before the dreaded 95 year. I mean, he just, if Gonzalez came up maybe during the Attitude Era of Ruthless Aggression, he might have fared a little better. But look at Great Khali though, I mean, fact of the matter is, is that I will say this, I think they have learned, because Olmos, for being a man of his size, I feel like they gave, I feel like they developed him a lot better than they did those other guys, because even though he doesn't have a ton of moves, at least he has big man moves. Although I did find it funny, like, during the 2K22 trail, they showed him performing a, a backbreaker, and I'm just like, I've never seen him perform a backbreaker before. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> drop kick right there. Oh, this gets Laria. Sleeper hold. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. Give up. sleeper hold. Give up. Big Show interrupts it. DDT. Lion Tamer on Big Show. <laughs> Oh, big Lariat. Big Show and Jericho get tagged in. They're a figure four interrupted. Number one.
Oh, the <laughs> Big Show Spear. <laughs> it's always funny watching that. Oh, big maneuver. His spears in real life were so slow. Like, he didn't even really get a running start. He just lunged at them. Going top. Elbow drop. Back suplex. Oh, big German. Oh, big flying attack right there. Goldust gets tagged in. Oh yeah, Big Show in WCW, he was great then. That's when you saw more of his athletic athleticism was during that. By the time he got to WWF, he was definitely more of a, a hulker than someone with some diverse fl ability. Oh yeah, he was tough. Definitely tough. Oh, he's going for a Heat Seeker finisher. DDT. Backbreaker. Punches in the corner from Goldust. Jericho gets tagged in. <laughs> Only top, waiting for him to stand. Oh, cross body! Goes for a cover. <laughs> One, oh! Two, three. Oh, look at that! Jericho and Goldust get the win. Goldust tagged MJF from interrupting the pin. Again, 87. Kiddo Clutch was the name of that pinning maneuver there. Not a bad. Paul White moved like a linebacker. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he definitely did. Yeah, it was a very good match. Next is uh, Too Cold versus Ken Shamrock in a title shot match. See how this one goes here. Alright, here we go. It's be an interesting athletic contest between the two here. Very different styles, but both very effective styles, all the same. Yeah. 
a counter grapple, counter upon counter here. Oh, nice. Uh, it's that rage, Beast Slayer. It's the it's the Shamrock Rage, the snap. Sna him snapping and just going batshit. That's what that's what gets him. That's what gets him. Big kick. Cold attempting some covers here, trying to catch Shamrock off guard. A little kick right there. Some punch kick combo. Oh, counters in a roll up. Ah, oh, Tombstone Pile Driver. Goes up top. Does his 450, but gets rope broke. Sidekick. Another 450. Oh, some. Oh, more counters. Oh, look at this! Q Cold with a huge upset! Can't be, well, probably won't get a good. Yeah, I got 61. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna do good for the overall ratings. Surprise upside. It does happen from time to time, but man. All right. Next main event for LGC's side of promotion is a tag match, tag title match. And they'll be facing off against, uh... Shawn Michaels and Stone Cold Steve Austin as a group. Alright, let's see how this goes here. Yeah. Yeah, freaking um Too Cold just he just outsmarted him. More mind games from the team of Lesnar and Cena here in some divisional action. They have a habit of doing this where they just wait like a freaking minute. But <laughs> But Too Cold's gonna get a title shot against Vader in a future date. I don't know when though. That probably maybe the next divisional event for the West division. We'll have to see.
Okay. They tied on to those belts for quite a minute, actually. A very unlikely pairing given their intense rivalry between each other, but they've held on to those belts. But let's see if HBK and Austin can now do Lesnar and Cena here. Austin, of course, a former member of the AWF before they folded, was picked up by the GSW in, a, in the off-season draft. And I haven't really got... A, Oh, look at this! A DX special! Yeah. Other drafties included, uh, funny if Austin or HK stole the F5. <laughs> it's possible, they could! Um, but yeah, the, so the draft was, um, GSW drafted, um, Austin, Eli drafted Mike Hager, um, DPS drafted, um, one of the Mortar Machine Machine Gun guys, and then spent 30, uh, points to sign the other guy so he can have the full tag team. Um, let's see, Star Fox, uh, what did, who did he draft? He drafted Hulk Hogan. Beast Slayer drafted, uh... Frick, what did Beast Slayer draft? Um... Forgot who he drafted, I have to look. Oh yeah, he drafted Iron Sheik, yeah, yeah, he drafted Iron Sheik, and I drafted Andre the Giant. At this point, the roster should have 11 or 12 wrestlers, depending on if they chose to get an extra roster slot or not. Oh, big German. Ah, uh, Austin Lesnar, the match that we never got. <laughs> that was supposed to happen, but it never did because Austin didn't like the booking of that match. And I, it's not like I blame him for it, but it's it was weird. It was a weird time in the, in the life of in life of times of Steve Austin. Elbow drop. It would have been awesome to see if Austin could have full-fledged, like, like, worked matches during Ruthless Aggression Era, kind of like HBK did. That would have made a huge difference. Yeah, like, you can have as many managers as you wish, you just gotta be aware of the only... Uh, AA on HBK right there. You can have as many managers as you wish, you just gotta keep in mind that in order to fully keep them, they have to be managing a group of two or more. You can't manage single, just one guy in this game. I mean, and you, you could... You could have bring in a manager any time, but you have to... Oh, Stone Cold Stunner on Cena! But you have to, if you really want to keep him without him being used in other stuff... Ah, oh, super kick. Then you're gonna have to, like, form that group. The only thing, and it's not really something I'm worried about to say because there's one, there's only so many managers that you guys are going to want to use, and they're only going to take up so much space. Oh, missed elbow drop. Lesnar gets tagged in. Counter. Yeah. Side suplex. Oh yeah, you don't have to spend points for... Oh, another DX combo special. Oh, here comes uh, there comes Paul Heyman. Oh man. But yeah, you don't have to use points to rent managers. Managers you can use anytime for free as long as they're not 
pick held up by someone else. Yeah, Paul Heyman's been managing Cena and Lesnar during their tag run. Another AA, this time on Austin. Goes for a cover. Almost had him. Double team suplex. Goes for an STF. Give up. Give up. Give up. Austin fights out of it. Third atomic drop. Another AA. One, two, three. Oh, the, <laughs> couldn't get there in time. Cena and Lesnar retain. So far, no submission wins, which I'm kind of surprised by, but. We'll have to see in the the main event, the next promotion. I got an 85, so not bad night for LJC. Let me do the calculations here. Just one bad match, really. Okay, but <laughs> he got a uh, 78 tonight. Oof. Next is Eli here. So for Eli, Eli since Eli, it's Eli's turn for a belt challenge. He chose to challenge for the single heavyweight. So Big John Stud, Stud will be defending his belt tonight against Mr. Karate. First match, though, Mr. Karate has an early match here. against the former TWN champion, current uh, XAW tag champion. Pretty bad he told me Jig John had seven stakes. Oh, I'm not surprised if he did. All right, let's see how this one goes here. Art of fighting, yeah. Art of fighting. Big stretch there. Yeah. I will say though about what I like what I like Eli's uh, promotion. It's it's always interesting because a lot of his like fighters are very strong style wrestlers. So it's always interesting to see like what kind of matches they'll put on. Oh, sharpshooter! Give up. Give 
give up? Arm bar. Big suplex. Oh, big trip. And the Boston Crab right there. DDT. Goes for a figure four. Some punch trading between the two. Drops an elbow. That suplex. Oh, running kick me to the corner. Yeah, he has. I mean, it, it's kind of unfortunate because LGC, he, 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 his promotion is the only promotion so far to not have a TWN winner, which kind of sucks because I feel like his, his roster on paper is fantastic, but for some reason, he hasn't, it, like, it's weird. Like, the matches haven't translated into, like, high ratings, consistently high ratings at least. Like, he's always has that one match that just doesn't quite click, which is unfortunate. You got some interference here. Helping out Mr. Karate here. Yeah! <laughs> he came hates LGZ. Oh man. Yeah! Oh, double team German. Angel fighting back. It's on a sharpshooter. Give up. Give up. Give up. Let's for cover. Oh, his finisher! Counter in a corner. Sets her up on top. She counters. Aim for him to stand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the little hit in the corner. Ah, so oh, big maneuver. Frankenstein or whip. Give up. Ah, sleeper hold. Give up. Give up. Punch straight between the two. It's a high kick. When Zach Mr. Karate has to catch his breath. Snap suplex.
Oh, rock bottom. Big kick. Oh, goes for a cover. And look at this. Really? Okay, see, W is going to spend the points for a roster sl slot. That's going to be interesting to see there. Strike three, that's the finisher right there. That got an 89. Good number for Eli right there to open things up. All right, next is a tag match. Mai and Yuri facing off against <laughs> Mr. Karate and Crimson. Karate having three matches tonight. He's not going to get a break at all. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes here. Yeah, exactly, a tank. Oh wow, that's going to be interesting. Possible NWO group? We'll have to see. Here we go. Big arm bar there. Big shoulder tackle there. Oh, monkey flip counter. One, two, three, Big DDT. Ah, so I'm working the side right there with the knees. A little body slam there. Punch straight in between the two here. Big punch.
Needs to the face here. Tag made in a corner. Oh, big kick combo. Oh, deadlift German. Oh, low blow. Mr. Karate gets tagged in. Oh, hits her with fire! And get suplexed out of the ring. Tag made right there. Double team drop kick. Big DDT. Oh, it just gets chopped. Dodge fire. A little mic check right there. Oh, wow. Some big strikes right there. Run up, light, run up, top one. Ancient wrestlers. That's going to be fun to see. I kind of see right there. Oh, strike three. Right there. Landed it. Ah. Big soup. Oh. DDT. Roll up. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that avoided that maneuver there. Oh, Miss Slash. Oh, look at that. Seventy four. Next match is Angel and Shermie and a and some barbed wire action. I have to thought. Yeah, I'm a little surprised too, but uh, Eli knows what he's doing with his plans with with his roster, but yeah, I am a little surprised. But we'll we'll have we'll have to see what he has plans for in the future, though. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, good chance for that. Let's see, um, when they city, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. 
so Alright, Angel and Shermy are going to be fighting in this here. Alright, let's see how this match goes here. drag right there. More than just in rest. Oh no! Oh man! Oh man! I'm, I hope Eli doesn't see that. <laughs> oh man! Oh, German with the bridge! Oh no! Ah, uh, scissor kick. Give up. Give up. Yeah. Well, you have to be careful though. Angel's not someone to mess with. She has she has critical going down tonight. Mr. Karate. It, it could happen. I mean, Mr. Karate could beat him. I mean, if Angel can beat The Rock and Shamrock, Mr. Karate could beat John Studd. Give up. Another stretch right there. Give up. <laughs> oh, barbed wire. Big Frankensteiner. That's a piece of wood. German with the bridge! Oh, had her with it. Nice drop kick. Grab the barbed wire baseball bat. Oh, nice maneuver. Knocks it out of her hands. Little lift right there. It goes for a German. Big wood swipe. Oh, Angel eats barbed wire. Yeah. 
German with the bridge again. DDT. Oh! Barbed wire strike right there. Ooh. Goes for a cover. Almost had her with that. Getting close. Oh, knees to the Give face. Up. Angel's trying to Give fight up. out of it. Give up. Fights out of it. Oh, right in the face. Better be quick here, only, only got a couple minutes before the thing explodes. Oh, overhead belly to belly. Woo! Heat warning to find out. Ooh! That's gonna be interesting. I guess we'll have to turn it into heat warning. A 10 match pay-per-view event from the TWL. That's going to be happening pretty soon here. Spinning kick. Oh! Drop kick! 15 seconds! Oh, both are down. This match is going to end in a tie. Ninety nine. Ooh, so close to a hundred. Let's see. Eli, you got an 87 for this one. So, you got second right there. It is a rivalry for sure. Alright, but we got one more match though. We got the main event here. I think in hindsight, if if that if a case like that happens again, where we only get through one match before we have to stop the stream, I think I think I'll just restart the match and play it over, only because because there it does take a little bit to merge the videos, and if I'm gonna do that, I'd rather do it if it's like a case where it's more evenly split with the stream, as opposed to just one match and that's that's kind of it. That's just kind of takes a bit but oh well but yeah my promotion ends up winning the night here and and Eli got second Unfortunately, because we don't have a majority 80s or 90s, it's evenly split. There will not be any jackpot points tonight as well. Alright, so, yep, everything's set there. All right, let's see how this goes here. Main event for the TWN belt, Mr. Karate versus Big John Stud. 
Tuber is like Duke from... <laughs> I wish I had a better idea of who that was. It sounds familiar. I, I have played King of Fighters stuff, but I don't think I've played that installment as of this moment. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Lego stud. That's also the CEW heavyweight champion as of this moment. Fight. Those for a cover. I'm gonna count. This match has a 30 minute time limit. Standard rules apply. Fred Blassie, the manager, is on the sideline on J John Studd's corner. Mr. Karate is going at the solo here. And if Mr. Karate wins, Eli's promotion will get six points. And if John Studd successfully defends this battle, he'll get give CEW three points. Ah, Suplex sends Mr. Karate out of the ring. Block shoulder, shoulder block attempt. Snapmare. Body slam. Goes for a cover. Almost had him with it. <laughs> oh man. Beast are just laying it on with the uh, trash talk with Angel and John Stud. Uh, the heat is, the, the face heel heat is real right now. Ooh. Ain't happening. Oh, inverted bear hug! Give up. The inverted bear hug has been a very successful finishing move for Big John Studd as of late. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, big punch. Oh yeah, interference. Oh, Diamond is coming down to help Mr. Karate, even in the odds. That yeah, hard punch though, yeah, exactly. Oh, he's stealing the finisher! He's doing the inverted bear hug on stud!
Diamond working over the head neck area with that submission move for having to leave. Oh, strike three! One, two, three. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, wow! Mr. Karate gets the win! Oh, huge upset! Huge! <laughs> oh, do not mess with Eli's promotion. Not a high rating, but. Good lord. Well, B-Slayer, if you disagree with this win, you could dis you could dispute it. Like, I upgraded the point store. You could take a look at that and can answer questions about it. But there is a... You could spend some points to dispute to win. If you get more promotions in on that, I could offer a discount on it. Eagle stub that stuff on my foot. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. And we got us. Big win right here. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> it is true though, and Sherrick lost to Angel too, so it wasn't. It's crazy, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad because I don't think I don't think his 7 run record from the last season necessarily reflected his success that he had with his promotion. Yeah, for we'll see how we'll see cuz <laughs> Oh man. All right. So for the next events, for the next I'm probably going to stream again uh Thursday, going to be away for a couple days. Stream again Thursday. Um pro either I'm I'm probably going to shoot for East Division again. So I'm going to try to get the booking for that. Um, next YWA event's going to be um, Asylum. And that will probably happen on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. Um, let's see. But yeah, let's... It, well, it could be TWN East, but it could also be Star Fox's pay-per-view. Um, Leo, Leo, Leo's pretty solid. I had to make him myself. Um, whenever you're ready, the earliest I could do it is Thursday. Um, but I can, I can work on it in the meantime. If you give me the details for it. Let's see, um. Alright, um, I guess in the Discord, just, uh. Alright, there's Leo right there, Eli. That's, that's what I got for him. I, cause I had to create him from scratch. There wasn't really a lion head I could find, so I kind of had to improvise a little bit. Okay, um, do you want any changes to um the ring or background music or anything like that? So. Um, but yeah, that's gonna about do it though. So I'll probably entrance theme. Uh, yes, I did. I did. I do have his entrance theme in as well. He's pretty much all set. I mean, if you ever wanted to spend points to get an extra roster slot, he's there. But it would cost thirty points, so you would have to be prepared for that. <laughs> the razor theme again. Okay. Okay, um, 
let's see. Uh, but yeah, I'll, we'll, we'll text more about it, but but I can get that set up and we can stream it Thursday. That's no problem. We'll stream it Thursday and then we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. In case you want to chat with anyone at the Campy Company, you don't want to use the YouTube comment section, we do have a couple options. <laughs> the, <laughs> the first one is we have a... We have um, a Discord channel. You can find a link to that about page slash about section of our channel. We also have a community tab in our channel as well. You can access that anywhere at any time. We also have a Patreon page. The main goal of the page is to raise money for the channel, to give the channel a bigger budget to do more ambitious things, and also to start making merchandise for the channel as well. And the merchandise itself will be used for an aspects of the channel that you guys enjoy. So any support we get for that is much appreciated. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.